I'm Gene Sparling. I work with wood, I'm, uh, primarily a wood turner. I also do some sculpture and other things, but uh, it mostly revolves around wood. When I first decided to begin making art, it was the one media I had expertise in. I've spent much of my life in the forest and in woods and uh, working with wood. It was primarily a practical um, interest previously. When I needed a house, I built a house out of wood. When I needed a table, I built a table out of wood. And so it was a, a natural media for me to delve into. My, my work is known, I expect, more than anything else for form. Uh, it's form fascinates me. Uh, the, the way people re will react to a well-formed piece, a particular curve or shape, and uh, the fact you can get people to just be amazed and just fall in love with a small, simple bowl or pot, uh, simply because you get the angles and the curves and the form just right. And so often the people that are finding the piece so attractive, they don't actually know that they're attracted to it because of this form. But I've learned that's what it is. I was raised in Springfield, Southern Missouri. Uh, my parents were both from Hot Springs. My parents were both raised in Hot Springs. And uh, I used to come visit Grandma and Grandpa's down here and uh, then when I became a semi-adult it was the one place where there was a little patch of woods I could go and live. Uh, my grandfather had a little piece of property which is part of the farm I now live on and uh, I came back to Hot Springs to build myself a cabin in the woods and grow my own food and live a peaceful life. There's been a lot of curves and twists in that, but it's it's been a pretty good plan all in all. Again, I hope my art speaks to this without me having to enunciate it, but uh, nature. It's all about nature. And um, well, I tell people regularly, as long as I start with a beautiful piece of wood, all I have to do is not mess it up. And uh, much of my art does lean heavily on the inherent beauty of the medium I'm working in. And uh, I would, yeah, I think that's probably enough. Nature can also be expressed in sand and desert and rock. But for me, it's always been force. Uh, primarily, I can look back on the previous makers of these awards, and it's quite an august body that I'm honored to now be a part of. It's actually a piece of a big cherry tree that blew down in a series of storms in Easter Sunday of 2020. Uh, grew next to my father's barn. Uh, it's uh, one of my very favorite woods to work with. Uh, it's beautiful. It has a nice fine texture. It polishes to a wonderful sheen. Uh, and it tends to darken over time. It will start out uh, a, a light pinkish red. And over time, and its exposure to UV light, it will end up turning into a deep, dark, rich red. And it, it's a wonderful feeling to make something that people just love. And when you, I make a piece and people come in and just, oh, I love that, or oh, that's so beautiful. It just feels good. Uh, I like it. Uh, and, and it's, it's 
is fulfilling. Be courageous. Don't let your own demons or exterior demons or people that say you're not good enough or you can't do that. Pay no attention. Uh, pick your own path carefully with lots of consideration, but do not allow the expectations of others, even the expectations of others that you carry within your own mind, don't let those dissuade you from doing what you want to do. Do what pleases you, and you may be surprised at how many people are also pleased by whatever it is that pleases you.